One is these first ribs can pop out either from improper stretching, barriers, ill-fitting saddle, um, rolling on a rock, getting cast in their stall, any of those things can happen from that. So to check for a rib being out of place, we're going to come to the top of this V. We're going to push in here. No problem. Make sure they're not ticklish. We're going to slide back two inches. So we don't have a problem there. Let's give them a half a turn and check the other side. And if it, if it was out, I'm putting that intercostal muscle into spasm with that. So we come in here, top of the V, make sure they're not ticklish. Slide back two inches. Oh, there we go. There we got one. So now I'm going to pull that. That's the activation point. I'm going to slide right, right there it is. See? So this rib is creating a problem. If he had, if you had a rib out, I call it the insanity rib. Because if you go put a backpack on it or whatever, it's like, oh, yeah, I just can't get this right. You get a massage, it's still there. So to correct this, let's give him a quarter turn this way. So these ribs around the wither, about to here, you can correct with how I'm going to show it. These back ribs won't correct with this treatment that I'm going to do. So you grab the leg, like this, and you support the leg onto your hip. Holding the forearm, just holding this one loosely so it doesn't <laughs> drop down. I'm going to come up and over, and as soon as he pushes down, you can see all this big muscle right here? If I had a little relief, I would spray the release onto that muscle. And so, there he's pushing down on me, so I'm going to give him relief. I come back around, and I come back over. There he's pushing down, I give him relief. As soon as I can come all the way over without him pushing down or rocking, you see him rocking back? Those are all signs of straining him. So I give him relief. Come back around, lifting up and over until he will relax into this. He's getting better. Sometimes you have to pack his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he's starting to come. He's not rocking back as much. You see that? See the change there? So now I'm going to shake his foot out. Bring this foot forward and try to set it down flat. Mm. That's usually what you get, that licking and chewing. Peter. Make sure they're not ticklish. Slide back two inches. Push yeah. in. Check up there. So that's an easy one to do. Check it before you saddle up. Always. Check it after your horse gets um, his feet dressed down on a stand. And if the horse is taking his foot off the stand, taking his foot off the stand, move the stand back to the center line, and he won't pull it off. When my grandpa taught me how to trim horses, he said, make the horse comfortable, and you'll be comfortable. You know, and with the stand, you kind of forget about that comfort of the horse. So when you're going to do a stretch on him, grab the leg, pull the knee so it's in line with the other knee. Stretch him here, let him stretch here. If you pull this foot out this way, the scapula slides into this, this muscle goes into spasm. So this will start to dissipate and go away as you keep this rib into place. The liver, everything we eat, breathe, and absorb through our body, and I believe even thinks, has to go through the liver before it goes out to the rest of the body. So we're going to find the slope of the back, right here. I'm going to lay my hand on here. I'm going to slide down at six inches from my PC form to my end of my thumb. We're going to check right there. So it's gallbladder meridian, and his is okay. But if it was a, his liver was what I call, Judy would call it kinky, I would call it congested, would he be flinchy on it just like he was up there? And then you can just start putting supplements on it. You can check the miracle clay. You can check so You can check your water on their liver. Mm -hmm. You can check their hay on their liver. Anything they're go you're going to put into that horse check to see if his liver can handle it, because he might not be able to. He might not be able to handle the ivermectin gold. <laughs> you know, he might not be able to handle the hay that you're getting. We used to use tobacco to worm our horses. <laughs> so we'll just see. So we're just putting the, putting the cigarette on his body and see how his body reacts to it. So we're going to come down here, test this point. Uh, it's actually not that bad. So. But would the tobacco have an okay effect on him? Um, it might have yeah. an okay effect. Because it's a small herb, right? And this this one actually is not a toxic one. This is a clean one. And this is what I, tell <laughs> I feel my better now. Trying to stop smoking, I tell them to go to American Spirits and smoke. Well, and there's a difference between smoking it and digesting it. <laughs> yes.
there is. Oh, so when you light it, it, it actually is not meant to be lit. Yeah. Okay. You just chew it up. Yeah, so just by putting that on his body, you can tell right away. Yeah, come here, I'll show you your liver point. Oh. <laughs> you volunteered. Right you right 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 yes. So your liver point is on your right hand. So you find the bottom of that crease. This is large intestine number four. You open the hand up. Right there, pretty soft, right? We'll give you the cigarette. Not too bad, actually. A little tighter, but not much. So if we had something that was really tight, like if we gave you sugar or coffee, that would test really tight. Uh, all, all of them here. Sorry. Just think about drinking uh, a cup of coffee. You got it? Yeah. So there it goes. Ooh, yeah, I can see it. Think about something you hate to do. Just think about something I hate to do. This. You got it? Right, yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, think about something you love to do. Okay. <laughs> nice and soft. So when you're sick and laying in bed, think about things you love to do. You know, instead of thinking about, oh God, I should be out there doing this. I wish I could do that. Or, you know, don't shit on yourself. Just think about the joy. Time. So what we're gonna do? The stomach meridian it starts below. The, it starts at the top of their eye. And it ends on this back foot right in the front. And this is a great point for calling the stomach 45 minutes. We slide down here like that to activate the stomach meridian. We come outside of the navel about six inches and we push up. And he's actually testing positive oh. for ulcers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to think miracle clay. So I've got miracle clay there. I activate this. I come down here and test. He's still active. Yeah. So now I'm going to add trace minerals into it. Because the trace yeah. minerals will um, kill any of the heliobacter that's forming around there or any bacteria that's there, starts to balance the pH of the gut. We're going to need trace minerals and clay. And that did it. Wow. Just, that. just ordered some. <laughs> and that's what I've been finding. The trace minerals are key. So I'll give them 20 drops of trace minerals, an ounce of water, shoot that down their mouth, and then 15 minutes later, I'll give them an ounce of clay. And it, that seems to get rid of the bacteria, huh. cauterize anything. That it might yeah. be bleeding slightly. Always have food in front of ulcer horses, whether it's a slow feeder type thing. It just grazing, so they don't get that anxiety or the acid buildup. Okay.